lots of merch up there. There's a beautiful tour poster they've got. Very limited edition. Uh, I think there were 200 made total, especially for this tour. Um, and with no further ado, please help me welcome back to Asheville and to the grave for the first time, Over the Rhine.
much. Was anybody in Charlotte last night by chance? I wonder, maybe a couple people. We made the drive, so I don't know if anybody here did. I know some of you all drive a long way, and we really appreciate that. That last one was a little gospel song that we hadn't played on this tour yet, so we thought we'd pull it out and see what happened. <laughs>
I was wandering around up in Michigan after dark one night, thinking about how sad songs make me feel real good. Some awful sad song by Tom Waits just made me so happy. Some Randy Newman song. If you see him wandering around Michigan at night, send him home, please.
ask us how we write our songs, and uh, we're actually going to do a songwriting workshop, Karen and I, in Santa Fe for a week in August, so we're going to have to start articulating how we write the songs, and, and we'll practice a little bit. On that last one, I was sitting in the living room in a comfortable chair, and uh, I was uh, strumming that progression. a guitar player, so I didn't dismiss that outright. <laughs> I can amuse myself with the simple things. And then Karen started walking through the room and she started uh, singing that little melody, I'm on a roll. And so we thought, ah, I'm on a roll. Um, and so we thought we'd go our separate ways and uh, write some verses and come back together and put them together and see if we could make a song. So we came back a few days later and I said, I'll start. I'll start with it with my verse, and uh, it was uh, black flamenco shoes, dahlias in my hair, garters on my stockings, the sidewalk bends to stare, I'm on a roll. <laughs> she seemed to think she could work with that. <laughs> it's fun to write for a girl. <laughs> Started putting them together and we have a little song called I'm on a roll. On a roll so. Mm -hmm. so, just so you know, that's how it happened. That's how it happened. Just so you know. Neither of us own any garters, though, that I know. <clears throat> Do you? There's something you need to tell me. We'll have to work on it. We'll have to work on it. <laughs> this is another, another new one. Uh, Yeah, turn, turn this down, just this guitar two. Turn the two down just a little bit. Turn it up in my ear a little bit for me, Dave. Just a smidgen. Thank you. This is another new one. And, um, it start, I started out writing a song. I was really mad at somebody for firing a friend of mine. I was really angry. And it was going to be sort of a, a nasty, evil song. And then I decided there were probably enough of those in the world. And so I made it something else. Um, <clears throat> But we're gonna go, we've been invited to go to the White House for dinner. I'm not, I'm not sure, I might change it again after that. <laughs> or just for that occasion, I don't know. They don't know what they're doing. The Republicans have invited us. But I figure they're the ones that need, we need to talk to, so we're gonna go. Think about us and cross your fingers and say a prayer, and if we disappear, you'll know why. <laughs> this has nothing to do with that, this is something else, but I might change it. That? Anyway, this is called Entertaining Thoughts.
our version of Try to Catch Me Red and Dirty. Oh, you don't know that song, do you? That's probably good. We just learned it a few days ago. We just learned it in the car. It's one of my ringers now. I'm sorry, you don't know that song. It's okay. We don't know what it means. Yes, we do. Trying to catch me riding dirty, my music's so loud. I don't know. Just... <laughs> Our sound engineer, uh, Dave Foreman, we like to call him Juicy. <laughs> um, he's an old road dog from way back. Was out with uh, quite a few American songwriters back in the day. Kind of retired for a while and ended up in Cincinnati. I ran into him in a bathroom in Kentucky. And uh, we got to talking about the possibility of going out on the road together, pulling him out of retirement to come out and be our sound engineer. And he said, the thing is, I won't go unless we're going to go deep. I don't want to leave home, leave my wife and my daughter, Emmy, and all that behind unless we're going to go deep. If you're not going to go deep, don't go at all. I like that. So, uh, we wrote a little song about that idea. It's called I Don't Want to Waste Your Time.
going for a ride, some heavy ones that get to me. <clears throat> heavy stuff. That's me. Somewhere. Guitar one. That's probably up here in the front. You can turn it down in the front and crank it maybe if you need to. Very juicy. This is a song from uh, Good Dog, Bad Dog. I don't know if that's up here or house. I mean. There's a runaway note. Yeah, it's, it's mine. It's guitar one.
Thanks a lot. to a record called Eve, but this doesn't sound anything like that record. We just keep changing stuff.
Thanks so much. We've been really, really happy to do this tour with him, and if you take him and OTR, you put it together, you get the word mother. It's a lot. Yes, it can be a very nurturing tour. It could be one mother of a tour. So far, it's been very nurturing and lovely. And uh, we've been out with him for quite a while. It's been great. Sally is as sweet as she sounds. And um, so we're really happy to be doing this tour together. And I want to tell you who our crew is, because they, they make our night and our day go smoothly and uh, we couldn't do it without him, we wouldn't want to. Out there selling our merch, um, he's a multi-talented guy and he just happens to be driving and selling merch and wearing a flashlight on his forehead. I'll put it back, Jake. Put it back. <laughs> That's Jake Bradley out there. <laughs> our front of house engineer also running our monitors tonight. He's multi-talented as well. You met him before, Juicy. Dave Foreman right there. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, Getting close. Our tour manager and guitar tech, the guy that keeps running, he runs all day from the morning to the night. Uh, would you please give a thank you to Brandon Dawson. All right, he has a children's CD called The Mud Cakes. It's quality, you know, no Barney, nothing icky and hideous that you'll hate. This is really good. Also, um, he's been playing with us. He's been featured on Live From Nowhere, our latest live record. Please give it up for Mr. Rick Plant. Cha ching I think. Nice. Close. Pretty good. Uh, right. On the drums, he played, he's featured on Live From Nowhere. He played on Ohio. He played on Drunkard's Prayers. From Indianapolis, he's also in a band called Those Young Lions. That is Devin Ashley. Mr. Smart Parts himself. <laughs> Take it as you will. That's a for Detweiler. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm the Swedish part of this group. Michael Wilson convinced me to keep my name and I've been cursing him ever since. But it's Karen Burquist, we're over the Rhine. Thanks again for being here today. We appreciate it. Yeah, it's a good time in Nashville. Thanks so much for having me. This is from Ohio.
thanks so much for coming tonight. <laughs>
Shadow on a Man, and uh, so I wrote this little song, and as a songwriter, it's sort of my responsibility to say things in a different way that haven't been said the same way before, and I think I've done that quite well in this song, as you'll see, it's called Trouble. Give me a little bit more in the ear. If you came to make some trouble Better make it cool You sexy cocktail I was stubble I was doing what it should 